TGN Sports. We got balls. Hey guys, FM Hantel with another Footman Hantel 2012 playthrough. This is episode 3 of the Liverpool Let's Play. So we're showing you games here. First we've got West Brom away, then Tottenham at home, Wolves at home, and Swansea away. The Wolves game is in the League Cup third round, and the Tottenham game is going to be the big game. So this is our team against West Brom, and we've had a lot of defensive injuries. Enrico was injured, Johnson was injured, and Aga was injured. So Quates, Aurelio, and Kelly all started at the back. Beckford and Suarez partnered up front. And this went pretty badly. Reyes straight away grabbed a goal with 10 minutes. Lovely finish into the top left-hand corner. And from there we kind of shot ourselves in the foot. Fabio Aurelio getting himself sent off for another lunge. And that's another defensive problem. So we basically had to completely screw the team around. Uh, Cout was ending up playing at right back. Carragher at left back. And then we kept giving free kicks away. Nicky Shorey. And the Nicky Shorey did keep missing them, which was a great thing. That was his first. Number two, miss. And at half time, basically, it was 1 0 down. We went to a 3 4 3. Obviously, it was only going to end up being a 3 3 3 because obviously we're a man short. So we completely switched the team around. I was just trying to sort it out. I sped this up because I'd spent so long trying to sort it out. I ended up bringing on Beckford and Hulk. Thought that would give us an attacking edge and maybe shred the West Brom defence part, but no. Malumbu came through on goal, played to Odin Wingy, saved, and again Odin Wingy should have scored, but drilled it low but off target. And then look, Shuri finally makes a play after all my mockery. He whips a great ball in, Odin Wingy, no one's really marking him, it's poor marking. He escapes his man and slash, smashes it home. So it was a 2-0 loss, and we were awful, and it was time for a change of tactic pretty much. Embarrassing loss, we deserve to lose, fair play for West Brom for playing better football than us. Odin Wingy got man of the match. So... This is our lineup for the next game, and this against Tottenham. We went for a 4-3-3. Gintner and Henderson, either side of Gerrard, Holt, Beckford, Suarez, they're going to be our front three up front. Enrique returned from injury, so that was always a plus. We started off the game well. Henderson dribbling up there, and Gerrard couldn't get his header on target. But it was nice and positive, and then Beckford with a fantastic strike. He's been on brilliant form, and yet again he hits to make it 1-0. And Holt this time being the picking out and trying to get an assist. Beckford heading wide, and Beckford again with a long-range effort. So Beckford really was the main man in the first half, and he's causing a lot of problems. It was half-time 1-0, and we were playing well, so I said keep it up. Hulk with the free kick, forced a great save from Gomez, who was really stretching to his right-hand side. And Henderson also had a good effort, but this time he hit well over. And then the 74th minute, I thought we were going to throw it away, but fortunately Scott Parker headed well wide for Masao Okoto's precise cross. Henderson had a corner with 9 minutes to go, and Carragher really should have done better there, but headed over. And Goy, who I thought we were going to concede a penalty there, but he smashed it, skimmed the crossbar, and went over, and it was a 1 0 win. And that's a lot better. So I, think, so I decided I'm going to stick with this tactic. We dominate possession, more shots, and a win against a very solid team. So I was delighted, and it was time to move to the Wolves game. I played a much weaker side here. Donny in goal. Um, who else? Downing got a game. Charlie Adam got a game. Carroll played. Count played, so I was playing a, a slightly weaker side as it was the League Cup, and we played quite well. Gintner got a shot away, nice bit of play with Count in the first minute, and Count this time crossing into Quartes, but he headed over. Charlie Owen had a free kick, but it was well over, and he needs to be doing better, but it was Suarez who gave us the lead on the 36th minute, just at the edge of the area. Nice place shot into the left hand side, hence he was stretching, but he just couldn't reach it. Fifth goal of the season for Suarez. Half time 1 0, and there wasn't really much need changing. I let Henderson play in the centre instead of um, Adam, so he provided a bit more stamina. Downing with the free kick, and he made it 2 0. Um, Hennessy probably should have done better because it was quite central that free kick in the end. And I'll take a goal however it comes. First of the season, so boost his confidence. Henderson then made it 3 0 with another free kick, and fortunately, we're making the most of our set pieces here. And it, that was the winning goal pretty much. We got one late on. And it was an own goal. Henderson thumped it, but it deflected off Johnson and went down as an own goal. So presumably Henderson's shot's going wide. And the last chance then, Quates was a great throw, and Carroll, Carroll hit it on the half volley. And it went out for a corner, but a 4 0 win, and that was a lot more like it. And finally, a good performance. We're into the League Cup fourth round now. And yeah, we dominated that game, and the 4 3 appears to be working a lot better. So, in the, just to show you here, League Cup fourth round, we drew up against Southampton. Which isn't the hardest results, but Southampton are a good championship team. And there aren't many teams left in there, there's 16. So we have a chance of winning that. So our final game of the episode is against Swansea. Um, Henderson playing on the right, Aquilani in the centre. It's Hulk, Beckford, Suarez again. Enrique and Kelly are the full-backs with carry on Quartes in defence. 
and they started off the game really well. Augustine with a long range effort and it was saved by Pepperenia and then straight away look at this, Carragher just tries to dribble the ball out of the fence, plays a simple pass on Rike but it misses and Moore was sprinting on Rike was trying to catch up with him but it, you know it's really slack defending and Moore crossed in, picks up Graham, made it 1-0 and they get off offside for that so the goal didn't count but I thought it was a goal and Aquilani tried to feed Beckford who's on fiery form, it reached half time and I felt Lucas who just arrived back from injury I let him play because I thought he's going to do a good job in the centre. Suarez running through. Vaughan clips him when he tries to make the save. It gives, gives the penalty and it's a yellow card for Vaughan. So he really did get away with that a little bit. And Suarez did make it 1-0 from the penalty. Nice finish to his left-hand side. He hasn't been great with penalties in real life. But at least he's doing it on here. Enrique picked up Gentner and Downing made it 2-0 with a powerful header late on. Because I stuck him up front. Because I thought he'd do a shift with dribbling. I don't think he'd actually score. I thought he's going to be for assists. But I'm not going to mind. And Suarez, right towards the end, good free kick, Vorman to make the save. And late, late on, Henderson crosses it in, and it's that man again, Luis Suarez, after his two goals against Arsenal, grabs another header, and made it 3-0. And that was how the game ended. And we've done really well, it's another solid performance, that was the last game of the episode. And it looks like the 4-3-3 tactic has really turned things around, making the most of our attacking options. So here's the end of the episode, I'm just going to show you the league table. Uh, with seventh, sixth in the league, sorry, with three wins, three draws, and one loss. We're only four points off the leaders, and with this new great form, I can see us catching them up pretty soon. Look how high Swansea are as well, second. Um, this is the new tactic we've gone for. We've gone for the 4 3 3. It'll be a lot better when Johnson is back from injury, and Daniel Agger, and Skirtle. So, a lot of players still to return. M player of the month I gave to Martin Kelly. He had to slot in for Johnson, which is a big role to do. He played four games, got an average rating of seven, was really solid. And yeah, that was my player of the episode. And you know, these are this are our games for next episode. We've got Wolves at home, Newcastle away, Wigan at home, and Southampton at home, and Man City away. If you enjoyed this, like it. Cheers, guys. This video is part of the Way Movement, a career path in video, sponsored by TGN. To learn more, visit TGN.tv.